this video uh, considers uh, another uh, gate problem uh, of year 1999 basically in the area of uh, EM30 and uh, it's a conceptual problem uh, indicating the basic concept of a wave equation. So this uh, we can read out this problem it says identify which one of the following will not satisfy the wave equation. There are four options given here A, B, C and D options. Out of these uh, four options we have to find out that uh, which of these options would not satisfy the wave equation. So uh, if any one of these options is not a solution to the wave equation it will not satisfy the wave equation. So first we will write what is the wave equation and then we will try to see whether uh, uh, which of these uh, options do not satisfy the wave equation. Wave equation is written as del square E if it is in terms of the electric field the if it is in terms of electric field we are writing the wave equation as del square E equals to mu epsilon delta 2 E over delta T square. Actually this wave equation could be further written as, as uh, this is uh, basically the partial differential equation, second order differential equation uh, of space. That means this we can uh, further write it as delta 2 E over delta x square plus delta 2 E over delta y square plus delta 2 E over delta z square equals to mu epsilon delta 2 E over delta t square del t square del t square. So this is uh, the wave equation and uh, what we have to do is we have to substitute these options uh, for the electric field for say E we have to substitute it and find the uh, solution of say left hand side also find for right hand side and if the left hand side equals to right hand side that means the uh, option given satisfies the wave equation. When the satisfies the wave equation the left hand side has to be equals to right hand side. Suppose you take this case uh, option A uh, you can find here for option A uh, this is uh, the variable would be here Z this x and y derivatives would not be there, they will be 0, only there will be variation delta, delta 2 e over delta z square. If we differentiate this twice, we will find a value here coming and then for the right hand side, you can uh, take the derivative uh, uh, of uh, this field over t the second derivative and we observe that the left hand side equals the right hand side. Similarly if you find for B the derivative here will um, um, give uh, both left hand side and the right hand sides as equal. So this option is also the option which satisfies the wave equation but the option C uh, which involves cos of y squared plus phi t. Uh, what you observe here is that this option since it involves y squared and you will be using this part while finding the 
left hand side uh, this when it is uh, uh, taken uh, as a derivative what we find is the term of y uh, uh, would not be appearing here on the right hand side so uh, this option does not satisfy since the left hand side is not equal to right hand side this option does not satisfy the wave equation the option here the D option also satisfies the wave equation and this could be uh, done by 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 substituting uh, uh, these solutions to the wave equations so here the option C this does not satisfy the wave equation is the right choice thank you